I'm going to get through this if it's the last damn thing I do. I've been meaning to do this. And uh, Mr. Shepard is the guy that sent me this knife. And he says, I bought this off a, off a freaking AliExpress. And it's awesome and it's cool. And I know you love monster knives and all this shit. Can I send it to you? And I go, I think it's Dan Shepard, by the way. Um, uh, but I said... Usually, I don't want people to send me knives. Then I got to turn around and send them back. I'm going to get lost in the mail. and then there's... But you know what? I made an exception. So he sent it to me. Let's look at it. Let's look at the damn thing. Okay. Man, this is a monster freaking ass case. This is not all. It came in. Of course, he said, I'm going to send it to you in the same big damn crazy box that it came from from China which is you know they're always orange and they're wrapped up in all kinds of cellophane and garbage and they look like shit by the time they get here but it also had this big ass sheath that you wear on your belt and you better strap that belt around your waist and then run some cable over your shoulders and down the back and hook it to the back of your legs and weld it and shit like that to hold on this put this baby on your on your belt this is insane this is insane i'm telling you this is the most crazy knife ever made ever i'm going to put that on my title so i'll get 10 million views like like neves knives did on his uh, exo review 10 million views how are you doing that dude <laughs> i did an exo review i got like 900 views <laughs> Okay, I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch here. <sighs> Leave it to the young guys. Leave it to the young guys. Okay, snap case. Snap, snap, man. Snap, snap. It's everyday carry. Oh, my God. If that's not the biggest lie I've ever seen, I don't know what the hell is. This is not everyday carry. Believe me. This thing weighs like... Have you ever been in a 59 Buick? Yeah, Roadmaster? <laughs> yeah. Well, how many tons does that weigh? Hold on, let's see how many, t holy shit. Okay, here it is. It's ginormous, let's, let's weigh it. I'm sure it's everyday, what's your everyday carry range? Um, what do you think, three and a half ounces, four? Okay, I could carry five and a half, but that's it. That's it for me, right? Let's see, oh, by the way, they call this the infinite crazy shark. Did you see that on this thing? Infinite crazy infinitely crazies right i got my camera backed up to pittsburgh and i'm in arkansas okay one thousand what <laughs> no it's okay eleven and a half ounces <laughs> is those grams 327 grams shit get out of here 11 ounce knife yeah oh yeah that's nothing that's nothing in the pocket <laughs> you know shit there's your pocket clip Let's look at it over a little bit. I'll settle down. Settle down. Let's look at the knife. What's going on here? Okay. Um, how am I going to take this apart? Eh, proprietary. Or you could make some shit up. I mean, you could, you could get that spun off, but without having to have the proprietary uh, little tool, 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 tool. Here, like here echo in here um so yes and we're gonna stick the we're gonna stick the stick through here and make this a fixed blade it's like holy moly batman um so when they said infinite crazy shark and dan says it's got a very interesting unique opening and closing mechanism and i'm going uh when i i mean i didn't know okay until i got it and then I'm going, this seems very familiar to me. I mean, in a way, I mean, but this is a pocket packer, right, Nick, or whatever. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but this sticks out like this, okay? This does not. It's pretty much flush. And it's a different looking kind of setup. I don't know. I'm, I took this apart once, but I didn't take the block here out and pull the spring out and everything like that. 
I believe I did a disassembly on one of the shark locks. So I'm going to try and take whatever video that was and dump it in like maybe back to back with this so you can compare to see if there is some similarity or maybe it's a complete ripoff. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. So uh, I'm running on total ignorance here. Uh, but and, you know, it's usually my forte anyhow to run on total ignorance. But this is big and heavy. It's big and thick. It's got a big blade. And uh, I like big blades and I cannot lie. Hold on, hold on, get back here. And the other day, I just happened to be over at the diamond and gold place, you know, picking up my normal shipment of Civil War bouillon and Inca gold, you know. And uh, they have an XRF analyzer. So I stuck it under there along with like a M390. I think I was carrying my M390 Spyderco PM2. Same reading, but I say, where's the vanadium here? And he goes, well, we got it set up. We're looking for precious metals and stuff. So, but I mean, I saw this and I saw the other, uh, and I go, okay, yeah. It, Cause I, um, I had another knife that was 14 C with me and I tested that and that was totally different. 14% chromium, all that. So I'm going, okay, okay. So they tested the same. So I know this is the M390 reading and this is an M390. I, I tested it. So, uh, okay. It's real M390. I mean, it's only 10 cents a pound, apparently, you know. I mean, you get 800 pounds of it. Uh, okay, so what am I supposed to tell you about? You can flick it open, and the Ergos are pretty good. I mean, here, you got Big Mama here, Big Fat Sausage Finger number one, and rest of Sausage uh, Boys on the back holding on for dear life. And, oh, crap. Uh, do I have a little piece of paper? Do I have a half a sheet? Hell no, of course I don't. Okay, screw you then. Oh. <laughs> so far, so good. Of course, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this has been used. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's do this. Let's give me a little half sheet so I don't have to try and bend it in a funny angle under the camera. Okay, get the... Get the hell out of here. Okay, let's try this. Let me see if it's sharp. I don't know. I didn't put my finger to it. Uh, of course, I could always send it to Brian and have him put a mirror edge up. This is not mine, by the way. But I say, if it was mine. <laughs> I can tell. I mean, obviously, I'm sure it's like super tiny behind the edge, right? It's probably like a tomahawk behind the edge, but uh, let me feel it. Uh, it's not exactly plucking at my epidermis that much, so maybe not as sharp as it could be, but it'll slice paper for now, so no, not ultra, ultra sharp. Um, where's the balance on this thing? Then again, I think this is just for chopping trees down and stuff. Anyhow, who cares? Or, you know, like one guy was joking. He's like, just, you don't need the blade. Just fold it up and throw it at whatever, you know? I mean, there you go. There's your attack mode. And let's see what this does. Where am I doing this? Okay, I guess I'm doing this. I've never put it in here before. Okay. Uh, you get that for the measly $849,000 you pay for it. I mean, people are going, well, uh, if Ho uh, Hoback's charging so much for that knife, it ought to, no, no, nothing made in China should cost more than 300 <laughs> whatever dollars. <laughs> like, well, Leong Ma, his Model 18, hold on. This is 600 and <laughs> this is made in China. Whatever, okay. So, yes, $438. They're getting really proud of a lot of their shit, and they are selling it for a price. And people are buying it. What can I say? Okay. But then again, um, it, you know, the creativity, the design and everything, it's kind of cool. Okay, so you got this tech lock thing, which wasn't that Terzuola design. So they either ripped him off or got his permission or whatever. I don't know. And uh, there is, see, this goes in here. And I thought this was kind of a cool touch. Check that out, right? So, oh my God. Come on, baby. Oh, can I talk you out of that? I saw you 
start to pull out. Okay, so it's not going to fall out of the sheath. Let's just say that. Damn. It's not going to fall out of the sheath. So as we kick this open, and this is going to push on through, so it's really got to come from the front to the back because the back is the only thing that's threaded. You, you knew you wanted to watch this review, and then you didn't because uh, I was doing it. Okay, so now, now you're, you're, you way cool, Johnny Cool, okay? Um, and that's not all the way screwed in, but I mean, I won't take an hour and a half to do this shit. Uh, but this is, uh, I just, I mean, you know, you think about all this stuff, and I don't, I don't think about this shit. So do, do you think about, oh, well, I'm gonna do a little thing on the Kydex sheath where I can put the pin in there. Great idea, I like that idea. I'm going to give you also a belt sheet with this so you can carry it this way, maybe cross draw, whatever, you know, depending on how you want to hook this up. And I don't know if you can go cross draw, but maybe, okay? So you can do that. Or guess what? I know, breaking news here. We just saw this a while ago. It's got a pocket clip, okay? So it goes in the pocket. It does go in the pocket. It's, it's kind of stubby and short for what it is but okay let's do this since we're talking about stubby and short the two my two best friends <laughs> my two enemies is for, okay here we go four and a half inch blade okay 115 millimeters or you can say 4.35 you know at 112 millimeters you know whatever you want to do uh, nine and three quarter, not 10 inches, and you're almost 25, 25 centimeters. You're knocking 25 centimeters right in the ass, okay? That's basically a four and a half inch blade. Mama, mama, mama juice. Okay, I'm just getting warmed up. Okay, 0. 0.67, 17 millimeters. God save the queen. Oh my God. Five millimeter blade stock at 0.19. Ah, yeah, pussy. Where did, you can't go quarter inch? Come on, man. What was that? the Australian, uh, the half breed, you know, their uh, folding blade, field blade uh, folder. Oh my God. That thing is, I think it's a full quarter inch on that one. And that sucker weighs about this much. I think it weighs more than 11 ounces. I think it's almost a full pound. So this is just a gent carry compared to that one at half breed. And it's got carbon fiber on the inside. Lanyard hole here. And it's cut away so, you know, it doesn't lay on top of your damn lanyard cord and stuff. The hardware looks good. It's nice, like machined look, this and that. It's centered. Okay, it better be for four. Actually, right now, if you look this up, right now, uh, AliExpress is having a sale, so I've seen it as low as $367. $367. Of course, what I paid was <laughs> $438 because I ordered one after I had his for about a week. I went to the Texas Blade Show and this and that, and I came home and I ordered one of these anyhow. Shit. Because you know what? I think i got to have one. And i am probably change my mind later, but I don't know. All this setup just drove me crazy. So I, I bought one, and then the AliExpress sale starts. So, of course, I could have got it for, you know. But, I mean, I got this from... Let me just show you this, too, as well. Eh, crap. Okay. But I got mine from Green Thorn Custom Knives Factory. So... There, I've done business with them before, so I felt, you know, solid about doing that. And, you know, everybody and their sisters got an AliExpress store, so I'm not just going to necessarily order from the cheapest. Crazy Shark. Infinite Crazy Shark to you, my friends. They have 25 mil centimeters. You know, nine, look at this. They, I don't care where you get a knife on AliExpress. It'll never be more than 98 millimeters because it won't tell you it's four inch blade okay it won't do that okay look at that yes five millimeter thick 61 rock well don't know about that but it says is marked on inner side of the handle okay the blade steel is 
and you've got carbon fiber and gaskets. Okay, so this is a massively massive knife and look at that stop. Bam. Uh, it locks up. I mean, I'm getting no play or any tomfoolery. And yes, it's got gaskets, but who gives a shit? I mean, it could be multi-row multi bearings for the way this thing, you know, drops. I mean, in all reality, and really with a big old heavy blade and everything, you don't want bearings on this. I don't think. I don't. I don't care. I mean, if it's got action like this, I really could care less. So... But, Dan, I finally got your thing on my video, so I can send it back to you. He's probably been jonesing to get it back, so. Okay, let me show you the goop you get with it, because you get goop, okay? And uh, so they send you a whole nother knife. It's just put in a little tiny package like this. So you get another spring for your action there, okay? And you get a whole nother pivot. You get this collar with it. You get the disassembly proprietary tool. And check this out. And, uh, um, this slides into that notch in there. So you can insert, you can put thumb studs on this knife if you want. I like to cut away, but you can put this on as a plug the hole and go thumb studs. It squeeze me. I mean, that's just another part of the, and you get a odd and a sundry, you know, screws. Is that not making it crazy? Okay, so hold on. How many knives do you know that have a spring-loaded lock like this? You can plug the, the hole and make thumb studs. You get, It's got a Kydex sheath with a, whatever, the tech lock. And in that, it's got a thing where you can push through there. Okay? And uh, it's just otherwise a ginormous, crazy-ass knife. So, um, okay. Just saying. Not many. Not many incorporate all, all those things in there. Oh, let's put this shit back in here before I lose it. Hey, Dan, sorry, but I lost all your stuff. Damn, that spring just jumped away. Could never find it. Okay, let's... He's going to go. I'll never send that son of a bitch another knife. Okay, come here. Let's take this damn thing apart. And look at... Oh, microfiber cloth. I'll keep that, Dan. Hell with you. Okay, um... Now, let us disassembleize this. And, you know, I think I disassembled it from the front because I was too lazy to want to take... Oh, you know what? You know what? I can't remember which side I took open because I think it may have a D-shaped pivot. And I could... Oh, yep. Okay, I think I did take it from the back side because, yep. I think it's got a D-shaped pivot, and I could, you can only unscrew it. Well, if you just looked at the damn hardware I showed you, you'd know that, right? I would know that, too. It's been a while since I disassembled this. And, Dan, I hope it was okay to disassemble this. Uh, or I'll keep your knife and send you my knife that's coming in or whatever. Uh, but this would be fun to kind of anno. Come on, unscrew someday. Oh my god, no, it's coming out the front. Never mind. All right. Nothing like a plan coming together. Okay, number eights. So, so far I've completely screwed this up. Uh, and of course, these, the screws are coming out the back. Oh my god. Okay. Now, will this come out the back? Can I get one screw to come out the side I want it to? Okay, there we go. There we go. And I don't think I need to do a damn thing here, but let me see. And you know, and I kept thinking the way this happened, I kept thinking I took this off from the front, and I don't know why I did last time. And so let me look carefully at why I did that. Or think about it a little bit. Come here. Um, okay. Um, I don't have to do. I don't have to do anything because that's just screwed into the scale there. So, okay. Well, that's falling out. Okay. There's. Come on. 
Okay. Okay. Rotate and out. Okay, so we had one screw come out one side, one screw come out the other side. And that's why I pulled it like that. And what do we got? Uh, I don't know what that says. Do you guys know what that says? I don't know. Uh, we're inside the knife. And uh, let's lay this down. This is presentation side. Um, pull this back. Disengage this blade. And this is our lock. And oh, well, here's where the spring goes in. In here. Okay. So there's your spring. And you can put another spring mechanism in here. Okay. So there's that. And then, of course, then there's this piston that goes in here. So, and then this piece here, which is interesting as well. Does that slide back? No. That's on there. Okay. Boog. Look at this stop. What is this? Five, six millimeters? Oh, it's a quarter inch damn near. So it's six millimeters almost, yeah. Wow, okay, that's a hoss. Oh, and so they give you... Okay, okay, okay. Let me see what we got here then. Mm, okay. So, no, and yes, now I'm remembering. Okay, let me get it in camera range. I'm so sorry for that. Okay, I pulled this out of here. Here's this collar. Okay, so that's what you get in that bag of parts. You get another one of these collars. They don't give you another set of those, though. Okay, so that's what that is. And there's goop in there. I mean, there's like a oily stuff. And I don't remember putting any on it when I put back together. But I must have. Okay. So, here's this. Um, see? You got a little ceramic ball. It pops under here. And you got this one-piece pivot thing. So, that's what locates this. Uh, let me see if I can feel that. Okay, I can. I can. Okay, do this again. Okay, hold on. See it kick down. Okay, so it's on that ball. Wow, and then this steel plate is in here. And then the inlay screws in from the inside into this. So you can actually remove these inlays and then you could anodize this and you can remove this hardened steel area so you can strip it down to the titanium and just do that okay where's my come here buzzkill here yeah because these are this is all steel okay this is steel yeah that's steel and these wow uh, these must be titanium screws. I'm not getting anything on that. That's interesting. But those pass-through things are steel. Well, I don't think the screws are. Hold on. How about these? These are. Huh. But I'm not getting anything on these. Nothing. Nothing. Wow. Okay. And these too. Nothing. Okay. But yeah, this part. Hmm. Okay, enough there. I was just curious. Uh, so, okay, so we got this planted here. This stays still. This collar goes down and fits right over here. Okay, so there's some kind of thought process in engineering, and I'm not. So if you're more of that kind of person, you know why they did the pivot this way instead of just making it that full diameter or maybe they needed it no it fits inside there so hmm okay i don't know i don't know you guys can guess about whether why you think they put this extra collar outside this pivot uh and how that is significant um my brain is not working on that so okay Let's back all this up because we're not on camera correctly. OK, 
Okay, are we finally back there? Okay, let's pull this down. Let's get all this. Okay. So, interesting how this fits on here, but it still goes in this area like that. Okay. So, it does, but it sits down on this inner collar inside this like that. Okay, whatever. Time to clean these parts up. All right, okay, so there's a liner, and we're gonna pull up on it, and we're gonna see if we can just work it out a little bit. And really, I should pull up on this end a little bit more. There we go. So we can remove this like a yay. Okay, there's the inside part of it. Oh, we got a squared off area, which means we probably got a squared off area on the pivot, which we do, which will keep the pivot from turning. So at least we've done that, which gets done in a lot of the $35 to $45 knives. Oh, by the way, a lot of the $45, $55 knives have ceramic bearings, but we don't here. Okay, but I don't care. I mean, I'm not, I'm not knocking it for that necessarily. And here's this spring here. So let's see if we can knock this out of here and let it land clear across the room somewhere in the carpet and never find it again. What do you think? Should we do that? Come on. You know you want it. Okay, hold on. Let me let, me let this go. Oh, my God. I didn't lose it. Okay. Get out of here. Okay. I'm going to get this out of there because I know it's going to make a jump for it anyhow. So here's your, you know, your shark lock. And of course, it's got the spring in here. So, you know, there you go. Okay. All right. Uh, not complicated, you know, necessarily. You got, you know, just this tool. And other than that, the pivot comes apart normally. You don't have bearings. You got washers. You got this little extra collar. You got this shuttle piece here that kicks into the spring, but really they don't make it difficult. It'd be difficult engineering and manufacturing maybe, but not for you in a disassembly situation uh, necessarily. And then again, I guess at some point in time, if you ever really wanted to pull this hardened steel face off of here, you could do that and it's just two screws, etc. So, okay. Um, I guess we go back again on this thing and where 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 was my pivot 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 piece? Okay. So here's my pivot piece with the hole in it. We gotta match it up to the ceramic ball and it's set back down in there. And let's put this and you know what? Mm, crap, where's my where did I oh here it is. Okay. KPL, right? And of course, slam the lid closed so I can't open it with one hand. Okay. <sighs> okay. Put this on. Uh, sandwich a little bit here uh, for a lube as well. And then we can put a knife blade on, maybe. What do you think? Is it time? I'm trying to think. Oh, no. Jeez. See? That's one of those little parts. You gotta get... Otherwise, you're gonna move your, your washer around a bit, bit, bit. Okay, now, Grandpa, we done? Okay, let's get this done. God dang. I'm getting old. Nah, I'm not. I don't look in a mirror anymore, so I don't recognize. Okay, here we go. And, okay. Hold on, what are we going to do? Yeah. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, we got these two boys in here. Come here. What are you doing? Oh, we're going to fall right back out, aren't we? No, you're not. Okay, I'm going to put a finger under there. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We're all earled up. But, I mean, we got to get our little shuttlecock on here. And, uh, and I got to get this jammed in. Okay, and there's our, our little trigger mechanism. And uh, speaking of trigger... What are we going to do, trigger? Okay, there we go. Okay, so you see that little pin right there? Did you wonder what that was for? Other than just being a stop for this little sliding mechanism. And you know what? Maybe that little sliding mechanism 
might not be a bad idea to tick a little oil in there, right? Now we're all good, right? Can we reassemble the rest of this cutting tool? Let us put the stop on here. That might be awkward otherwise. Are we ready? Are you ready for the big slap together? Sandwich time. Sandwich time and scoop. Yeah, we got it. Okay, now uh, we got to I'm going to push you back a little bit. Seriously? Come on. Now where is this thing? It's not going to go through because we don't have this lined up. Come on. Line up. Line up. There we go. Good boy. Now, let's slap you in. What else are we doing? I think this, it's actually not that difficult. And okay, now what do you got here? Let's make it happen. Okay. Now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's just. Hey, let's just crank this sucker down really hard. How about that? Or how about? Maybe let's not. Come on, man. You don't even know your own strength. Okay. Come on. Okay. Yeah, it's a little... Sen I mean, you know, it, it's a little sensitive to how tight that pivot is. As is every knife that has washers. You can always lock that baby down or you can't even open it. And is it centered? And yes, it is. Absolutely. And is it crazy? Yeah, it's... It's infinitely crazy, because it's like a shark. All right, my friends. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I was a little ambivalent about doing this whole thing, because it's uh, a way different kind of knife. There's a lot to it, but uh, I really like the knife. Uh, I like this blade shape, okay? Um, I, I like the overall design. And once I got it in my hands, uh, I really like the action on it. Um, I like the fact that they give you this as an option to carry and have this pin. Uh, I would like it way better at, well, it's on sale for $367. i would say it's, I'd say that's the price. Uh, when it gets into the fours, I'm, I, I think it's a little much, especially since it's a nothing knife. It's not a name brand it's you know but uh there's a lot going into this there's a lot of stuff involved so yeah uh, i just thought maybe it was interesting i mean just as a little extra you know a different breakup of the normal reviews you're watching or videos you're watching this is a different kind of knife something unusual and uh maybe a bit exotic just for the hell of it just to give you a break I'm going to leave you to it. You know what our channel is all about. It's love them knives. It's usually more like budget knives. But hey, this got sent to me. And I'm, I think it's way ass cool. So I hope you appreciate it too. Thank you so much. Sub to my channel if you would be so kind. My wife would appreciate it. That's for sure. And we do love them knives. You guys stay sharp.